Is Hillary just hoping the American people will have collective amnesia? In a speech meant to serve as sort of a kickoff event for her months-old presidential campaign, Hillary Clinton, of all people, said we need to do something about corruption when it comes to money in politics. We have to stop the endless flow of secret, unaccountable money that is distorting our elections, corrupting our political process. Mrs. Clinton, you have an opportunity to demonstrate how serious you are about this. Lead by example. You and your husband should give back every corrupt dollar you solicited while selling your influence as Secretary of State. It would completely drain the Clinton Crime Foundation of cash, but at least you'd be taking your own advice. We all know that as Secretary of State, America's priorities took a back seat to your own. When it came to a third world thug dictator wanting something, you'd make that happen for a price. After that, you can move on to the unions and the money funneling operation they have between their workers in the form of dues and Democrat candidates in the form of campaign contributions. But where would that leave the Democrat Party? Are you sure this is a road you want to go down? By ending corrupt cash flow, you'll be bankrupting yourself. Hillary also tried to tell us how smart she is in foreign policy. We have to be smart as well as strong. I stood up to adversaries like Putin. Wasn't it Barack Obama who joked about the 1980s calling and wanting its foreign policy back when Mitt Romney predicted the disaster with Russia we are currently knee-deep in after your embarrassing reset button? You were more of a game show host than a serious Secretary of State looking out for America's interests. You and the rest of the Democrat Party just don't get it. Since your relations reset, Putin has taken Crimea, and since Obama and Kerry are as useless as they are incompetent, he will soon take Ukraine. When, where, and under what circumstances did you, or any Democrat for that matter, stand up to Putin and put him in his place? Your speeches contain nothing but sing-songy drivel and rhetoric that strains credulity. You, Mrs. Clinton, are living, breathing hypocrisy personified, and it's time for you to go away. Thanks for listening, and be sure to catch the weekly Ray Warner Show and subscribe at iTunes or donate at theraywarnershow.com.